Marijuana or cannabis, also known as the stoner drug, is known for getting people high. But did you know that it's legal in eight states for recreational use, it's legal in 20 states for medical use, and it's illegal in the remaining 22 states? Now most people consider marijuana as bad as cocaine or heroin. But did you know that marijuana has many reported health benefits backed by both science and research? Marijuana contains two key ingredients. The first is a psychoactive ingredient that causes the high effects. It is known as tetrahydrocannabinol, or THC for short. This is the main psychoactive ingredient of marijuana. THC attaches to cannabinoid receptors in the brain that include thinking, memory, sensory, and time perception. This is how THC plays a role in the psychological effects you may have while under the influence of marijuana. THC has also been used for its pain relieving effects. A study published in the Journal of Pain and Palliative Care Pharmacotherapy suggests that THC activates pathways in the central nervous system which work to block the pain signals from being sent to the brain. A pilot study published in Clinical Drug Investigation talks about how THC can be helpful for post-traumatic stress disorder. Because of its psychological effects on the brain, it has been therapeutic for some patients who suffer from flashbacks, agitation, nightmares, and other symptoms of PTSD. Another component of marijuana is the non-psychoactive ingredient that is called cannabidiol. It reduces the effects of THC, in other words, works against the high effects. CBD is thought to be responsible for turning off a gene by the name of ID1, a protein coding gene that is suggested to help cancer cells spread throughout the body. Studies published in the journal Molecular Cancer Therapeutics suggest that cancer cells produce more copies of these genes than non-cancerous cells. Some anecdotal cases also show us that marijuana may be helpful in treating epilepsy, although this is yet to be comprehensively studied. But in the case of 8-year-old Charlotte Figgy, the use of marijuana that was low in THC but high in CBD has reduced her 300 seizures a week to just one seizure every seven days. So marijuana has other applications other than just producing the high effect. Are there any other science issues or phenomenon you'd like us to explain? Let us know in the comments below.